Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another video. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button, answer these three questions in the chat. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? My name is James and this is Mark and we film videos every Monday and Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Welcome back to another live stream. Now, I, I believe many of you hedge bets that I might not even make it to today's stream because of the sheer embarrassment from Friday. <laughs> What happened on Friday? I don't even know. Oh, are we ready to talk about Let's what spill happened the, you on know, Friday? It's fine. Spill the tea. Get get everything off your chest before we dive into this stream. I'm not upset or anything, so there's nothing for me to get off my chest. Okay. However, what happened have, though? <laughs> if you want me to talk about it, I will. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what were some of the highlights or the lowlights? Uh, the lowlights was when James was just on the ground and saying, oh, I fell on the ground and no one cared. But I literally just saw you just kind of lay yourself on the ground, but you wanted attention. And then the high point is like when James actually had to get up, go off camera to uh, relieve himself. Girl, I didn't know you were going to expose me to that degree. That, I, that, that, that was a question. Mm. <laughs> How were the chicken lettuce wraps? <laughs> they were actually really delicious, and I'm kind of bummed that you don't remember. Yeah, it was um, usually after we have streams like that, the next morning we'll rewatch it. And this one, I'm like, wow, I don't actually remember too much of it, which is um unusual usually i remember everything but like i was like this person like people came on stream we were on, discord. on we were on discord and then i did all the cleaning up afterwards because oh you made that known because james was passed out by then and yeah did you let me sleep in peace i did because i didn't bother you until the next morning where i made you rewatch this one ep one segment where i'm like okay this was the peanut saga the peanut gate that i was holding so much in to not get mad at you but i'm like okay you need to get over this whole pe okay. peanut so thing let us know in the chat <laughs> if you think we fought after uh friday stream that's that's really um want to see what your insight is um before we get started again we have a like goal next to mark's head so every time we hit the like goal on a monday what happens we get to spin the wheel and whatever wedge it falls on we have to do that Reward or punishment. Yes. And before we get started, how about we welcome Chungi Funk, my life story. Thank you for signing up as a member to, I don't think it lets me click on it, does it? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Thank you again for uh, becoming a YouTube channel member for our stream. All right, let's uh, let's get into the chat, and we're gonna get right into the cooking. Oh, Mike was the first one yes. tonight. Someone's eager beaver. I have not had shaken beef before, but I have had shaken bake. Yep, it's Monday. Let's go. Yes, happy Monday. We have Joe here. Happy Monday. Shaking beef made fresh in front of you is really refreshing and almost a light way to eat beef. I love it. Very simple too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. We have Evelyn, welcome to the live stream. We have Michael, they made uh, bulgogi oh. beef bowls from good food for supper. Excellent. That's kind of similar to what we're eating, but we're doing like the Vietnamese version. Yes. Of like, I want to say they're kind of similar in that sense. Yeah, right? I would agree. We have Barb saying, I hope the pretty rice cooker makes an appearance tonight. You know what's funny, Barb? Did we leave our mic on before we went on live? Because she might have heard that we are going to be featuring the rice cooker tonight. Mark is going to be sent on assignment. This is like a, a news newscast room, right? He's going to be sent on assignment as he uh, makes rice for us tonight. Okay. So you all saw that video. Hopefully, if you didn't, check out that video after the stream is over. We have Teddy. Hello, chat. James and Mark. I'm so glad Monday is over. Us too. We have Olivia. Hi, uncles. Hi. Hi, Livy. She was doing a word search earlier, and the category was bridges. Ooh, London Bridge. I don't even know if that was one Rainbow of the words. Rainbow Bridge. Have you ever heard of a dummy bridge? That was mm. one of the words that was on there. And I was like, I wouldn't want to get on a dummy bridge. That's, I, I feel bad for that bridge. I don't <laughs> want my name to be dummy. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have no idea. what. what and does anyone know what a dummy bridge is or what it has to do with bridges? There's, um, there's a suspension bridge. There's mm -hmm. a. I didn't recognize any of the. Livy, throw some of the words that uh, you had to look for the word search, and maybe Uncle Mark can make a connection with them. 
We have uh, African American here saying so ready. Welcome. So ready. We also have a Filipino South Oregon saying ready. Ready. I like how everyone's like ready, 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 ready. We have Julie here. Hi, peeps. Hi, Julie. Um, I think I might have passed out on Julie. She was one of the ones in the Discord, right? Uh, yeah. It, well, yes. Discord. <laughs> Carrie Jade, R Ray, Eddie, Mjin, and Mjin. Yes. I felt so bad because I was like, "This is the first time we've talked to Mjin in person." I was just a hot mess. You're good. You're fine. Okay. Everyone was fine. Yeah. <laughs> we have Linda here. Welcome to the live stream. Shauna says, hi, James and Mark. I'm finally on time. Yes. Oh, by the way, we want to send out thanks to the Michaels and Shauna. We just checked our PO box yesterday, and we really enjoyed our holiday cards from you Both all. Both cards were thank beautiful you so much. and awesome, and thank you for the warm and kind messages. Yes. We have Suzanne here. Latest, well, in addition to Chummy Punk, latest member to our channel members. I think she signed up, she signed up when we weren't live streaming. Oh my god! So I got an alert that you're now a member of the channel members family. <laughs> <laughs> member Welcome. We have Angelina. Oh, thank God you came on. <laughs> yes, we're here for the Mondays. If you have the case of the Mondays, we are we are where it's at. We have Candace. Hi, everybody. Now, Candace said she was going to order Vietnamese food in homage to what we're eating tonight. What did you end up deciding on? Oh. Uh, tree's gone. Well done. My guess is that was yesterday. Yes. 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 That was yesterday. And a little little spoiler alert: we vlogged it. Mm. We're gonna we're gonna try to do weekly vlogs. We're gonna start off small. We went from daily vlogs, and we're gonna not do com like zero. We're gonna try to do once a week. Mm, okay. That's kind of like I'm, a starting point. I'm okay. I guess I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm. Julie says puking and falling. We don't need to recall <laughs> any details exactly. <laughs> We have Puk Brandon. Puking, falling, and peanuts. <laughs> okay, you're clearly not over the peanuts. That's why I said, let's talk about it. Get out of your system. Actually, re-watching it made me upset. Yeah, but I called you out on why the peanuts. No, nope, you could have simply said, you could have just said, oh, no, I already, you know, I, I'm, I'm at fault. But then you okay. just said, but I told you there were peanuts. I'm going to crop out that little section so you can get both sides of the story. It's okay. very one-sided right now. It's very one-sided. Okay. It's not fair. There's only one side yeah. to the story. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone send Yadi well wishes. Hey, guys, watching you from the NICU uh, with baby Adrian. Yes. Yadi. We love you. Michael says, we need more Jameson is the lesson. Yes. Maybe on a special occasion, we'll do like a Jameson-based. No. So I'll drink Jameson. We'll bring Chianti for you. No, we're supposed to do Maker's Mark. Oh, yeah, that's oh, true. Oh, Maker's like our Mark names. Yeah. yeah, I was also thinking bringing the, the, the alcohol that did us in, too, would be a fun episode, right? Oh, like... either It's either Chianti... Was box wine bad for you or good for you? I forget box wine situation. I got drunk of a box wine, but it was the Chianti that got me hung over. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 over. yes. Yeah. And Michael, I do apologize. I think we started getting super chats toward the end of the last stream. I forgot to sing. To, like, I think we just forgot to do stuff. So if I did forget did to sing to anybody, because oh, I was like, I saw some super chats and then I was like, I wasn't even reading the things that weren't highlighted for me anymore. Everything was colorful. We so. just had a lot of games and shots to do. And when it got to, what I remember is when we got to the point where we just finished a bottle of Jameson, we were asking people to go on live to either play the game. Oh, uh, Black Knight, right? Black Knight mm -hmm. or take a shot for us because literally we had no more shot Jameson's to drink. Although we did also finish the leftover Grey Goose that we had. That night? No. Yeah. Was I involved? I think you I think you didn't have any. Okay. I, I don't time. remember that at all. So we drink we even drank more afterwards. <laughs> it's okay. It's Monday. Who knows? Maybe maybe tonight will be like that. No, no, no. <laughs> we have Donna here. Y'all ready to hang out on this cold Monday? It was actually quite nice today, right? Like uh, low 70s? Windy? It was really windy. Yeah. We have Mary Ann. Happy Monday, y'all. Welcome. Okay, Julie, remember the rule about what happens in Discord stays there. But, I mean, if you already said it, I'll just highlight it anyways. <laughs> we have Memo's Kitchen. Hey, guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Time to polish a bottle of Jameson in two hours. In two hours? 
What's happening in two hours? No, it, from oh. this point on, during the live. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, not. We did that on Friday. Yeah. And Laura, you did not Black Knight with us. <laughs> I'm going to remember that. Oh, yeah. She kept saying, like, Jeff will come over and, like, and I was, like, waiting for some kind of appearance and nothing. 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 So that means Jeff and Laura have, they have to do two to one ratio <laughs> this weekend. All right. Okay. All right. Julie, happy Monday. Bita, welcome to the live stream. Maribel says, hi, guys. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Shannon says, Mark is such a sweet and caring husband. Has James ever done the same for Mark during a live stream? I'm probably, I'm sure he probably has. He has. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. That, that's the tequila episode, I think. We don't have to relive that either. <laughs> Emjin, welcome to the live stream. Good seeing you guys again. Yes. <laughs> oh, we didn't scare you away. <laughs> yeah, it's it's already positive that you came back, so that's a good thing. Uh, we have Kip saying, hey guys, happy Monday. I was watching on Friday and thought it was pure entertainment. I could tell Mark was holding back about the peanuts. Glad you're both here today. There you go. Oh, Kip so knows sad. what I'm talking about. There you go. All right. I didn't think it was obvious, but I don't know. I The odd thing is the next morning... I was like, okay, I just need to know what, how was the live? And then I just randomly scro scrolled in the video mm -hmm. just to kind of see. And it landed on the peanut. And then that's when I'm like, oh, I remember what happened. But I didn't re – like, when I w woke up, I didn't, like, say, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And is that why you, like, poked me really hard to wake me up? No, I waited until you're kind of, like, half getting up. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to – have you watched something? You're like, what? <laughs> I haven't got the glasses for you, so I can see. <laughs> You're waiting for that moment. Uh, we have Barbara here. Welcome to the live stream. Yes, thank you for catching up on all the videos you may have missed. Yeah. We have Dante. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Uh, LSOP. Oh, I'm just going to call you LS. I freaking love you guys. I live for James's screen. Ah! That? That? Okay, here's some of the um, bridge words. Culbertson, alert, South defender. Ooh, I wouldn't like alert either. Like alert bridge. Yeah, I don't want to get on <laughs> that bridge either. Or defender might, uh, that actually sounds strong. Yeah. At first, my reaction was defender, why? What does it need to defend against? <laughs> but I guess defender just has a strong sound to it. Yeah, for sure. Colleen, welcome to the live stream. We have Diana. Hi, guys. Welcome. Kathy says, haven't had bottle of luck in so long living through y'all tonight. Great. We will uh, walk you through our journey in making that dish tonight. We have Butt Boy Supreme. Hi, babe. <laughs> hey. Uh, love Mondays. My son wants this meal now for his 12th birthday Wednesday. Happy early birthday. Okay, I'm going to need help. Is that a French word? Pauv, James? Ooh. How long did the effects last? I was very preventative. I woke up in the middle of the night and I did one of those liquid IV things. The little packet oh, things, yeah. and I was great in the morning. I was fine. Like, it wasn't the worst hangover. It was just like, we're still very functional, but we weren't 100% optimal either. Yeah, we were optimal. We weren't optimal, <laughs> but we still did our thing. We we did a date night. We did do like, a date night. dinner. In the vlog. You'll see it in the vlog. Oh, we, yeah, we did record that. Yeah. Parts of it. We have Linz. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you as well. Thanks for being here. Uh, I did see the screenshot, Michael. Yes, if you guys are curious about things, the antics that may go on after the stream is over, sign up to our Discord. I think Michael posted a photo of us talking to Eddie, which oh, I vaguely yeah, remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that, Michael. You even recruited Kuya Michael to check in. Yeah, because you said, Thank you. if Matthew's on, <laughs> then I'm going to take my shot. I do remember that. Yeah. Because I, was, I remember like being so shocked that he yeah. just said something right after that. You still owe two games. You know what? Sober Julie remembers. You know, it's Friday's gone. It's gone. <laughs> We're all good. We caught up. We have Elda here. Welcome to the live stream. Not responsible for Jeff. <laughs> we have Larice. Hello, my favorite couple. I get to eat with you guys tonight. I'm doing me a crab bowl. Yes. Ooh, that sounds good. Very good. Dana says, hi, everyone. Friday night was quite entertaining at James's expense, I guess. It's okay. I was because I wasn't worse the entire weekend. Here's the thing: thing. like once in a while, if one of us or both of us kind of like let loose, that's okay. Yeah, you know, as long as it's not happening every Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday. So during the beginning of uh, 
panorama it was once a week. Mm-hmm. probably once a week it was once a week but it did alternate no there are some times there when some i feel mondays. like we drink a lot on mondays yeah yeah i, remember. I don't know yeah those in the crazy. beginning in the beginning i remember uh michael please please let me know what the lost footage you're referencing is and Candace says, I ended up getting barbecue pork salad and salted pepper shrimp. Oh, yes, nice. That nice, sounds nice, delicious. Nice. And what are you? what is everyone else having for dinner? Um, yes, the peanut part. I was praying he didn't roll you on the floor after the live. <laughs> well, so while people actually remember the peanut conversation, then, oh, it's because you wouldn't drop it. That's why. <laughs> Tio says, I'm on Mark's side with the peanuts. I missed the peanut discussion, but I agree with Mark on Mondays and James on Fridays. <laughs> well, there we so go. That's, that's your very, rule? Okay, that's, that's a very diplomatic. That's very love fair, it. too. Very, very equal. I didn't even read the second part of the sentence, but as soon as I read, I'm on Mark's side, I was like, well, of course Tio's on your side. Why? Tio's Tio, always on your side. But Tio was on your side on Friday. Really? I have to go back I, I to remember. I forgot what, but then something happened and he, like, Came to my Agreed. defense. Yeah, something like that. I yeah. like that. Thank you. Okay, uh, Anakisa here says, hi, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Great. That's good to hear. Emjin says, you guys were great. I had a lot of fun. You didn't scare me off. <laughs> Excellent. We love to hear that. Uh, Kenneth says, hi, guys. How are you doing? I've been missing you guys. Love the rice cooker. Everyone should get a $600 rice cooker. Maybe it's reverse psychology. We actually have a secret brand deal with Cuckoo. And that video was to entice people to still get it. I think some people still said that they want to get it. I really, that video, yes, I, I might, spoiler, I might have chosen the other rice, but it's okay. been a welcome addition since. Here's, here's some behind the scenes story that we didn't reveal in the video. Oh, yes. That I feel comfortable letting everyone know what really happened. Mm. Uh, when we filmed it, I actually used the wrong grid line in the pot to measure out the water so it was a little bit more water than i was supposed to so the water so the rice ended up being it diluted the flavor because <laughs> you know how they said the other rice was like really rice flavor and yeah. the other one was like mm. well it, it, it also made it like extra wet and sticky which mm. i i love sti- overly watered rice but mm-hmm. then um but yeah you could tell a slight difference so the second third time we made it i made sure to look at the right grid line and it just came out perfect yeah yeah lesson learned lesson learned oh pauvre means poor so they said poor james Um, thanks hmm. i should have put two and two together (laughs) dulce welcome to the live stream happy monday happy monday mrs b says hey james and mark hey you know we call uh hadu mr h sometimes mr h so we got mrs b here welcome welcome mrs j (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> that's fine um oh, people are telling what they're having elda had adobo oh, and rice oh. fettuccine alfredo mm-hmm. raindrop had burgers and fries mm-hmm. and i like your profile picture it's a raindrop it's very artsy and very fitting with their screen yeah. name olivia's having hawaiian barbecue i thought you were gonna have pho love you guys thank you for being here liz Lop, hello everyone i'm having grilled chicken with green spaghetti Ooh. Shin ramen with tri-tip added and other additions. That's yummy. Very elevated. Yeah. Instant ramen. I had toast. Julie, are we going to elevate that? I had roasted chicken, breast seasoned rice with green beans. Yum. Breakfast for dinner. Biscuits and sausage fried eggs. You know, Yum. some of these things we've done on our live. We've done breakfast for dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we should We've do done more adobo. breakfast. We've done burgers and fries, right? Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of really cool how um, some of what you're eating tonight we got to experience in one way or another on our YouTube channel. <laughs> we have super hypers that say, hey "Guys, first time catching the live from the beginning. Welcome." We have John Dang here. Happy Monday! Hi, Happy John. Monday. I hope you and Tiffany went to all you can eat sushi restaurant today <laughs> and go tomorrow and go oh Wednesday i know why you're saying Thursday. that i was like why 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 should because john is also part of that weight loss challenge I can't. it ends this thursday right i just feel bad because i should have taken it more seriously yeah we well, just we had vlogmas and we had vegas and i don't know it's just like i 
each week went by like okay i'll start now but then there's no easy way to start in december no it's a hard time of year it to start any kind hard of hard time to start yeah to start any kind of habit especially you yeah. know all right we are caught up on chat so we are going to tell you a little bit more about today's dish so as you saw from the thumbnail we are making something called shaking beef in vietnamese it's called balu black bablu ba what <laughs> wait, wait 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 hold on what, what let's is start it? let's do it easy let's yeah, do it slowly yeah. ba ba lop huh lop lop mm -hmm. i know it says it's l-u-c so you would say some people say luck but it's not luck it's ba lop ba lop luck luck yeah ba lop luck i think ba, luck means shake ba lop luck ba lop luck 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 Lock, lock, lock. Shake your body. Shake your body. Ba means uh, beef. Yeah, so it's chicken beef. I think the way the reason it's called that is later on when you see us cooking it, we're gonna have to shake the wok or the pan that it's in to get it all nice and coated. So, so actually, supposed to be a pretty simple recipe. Um, that's actually why I chose it because I'm kind of take lead with cooking today. But Mark did help with some of the preparation. Some butter lettuce. This might look familiar from Friday. Oh, we had some extra. We had, we bought two lettuce. Yeah. Patch, lettuce, bunch, lettuce. What is it? A bunch of lettuce? A, yeah, a bunch. I think a patch of lettuce. Ooh, patch! Isn't that cabbage? That's, so cabbage lettuce. I don't know. Bundle. We'll go with bundle. <laughs> a bundle. Of we'll go with bundle of lettuce. Um. So we have that. What, what's in front of us? So the steak that they recommend, I, I got this recipe from another YouTuber. Her name is, I think, Pylin, but she goes by Pai for short. Um, so she made this at a restaurant. She has, she used to work at a restaurant. And so she recommends any steak you would feel good just eating, like steak and knife type of situation. Then we Pork should have gotten a prime grid. That's right. But it's okay. It's okay. So we ended up getting a... Um, New York Strip. Well, here's the thing. James actually wanted to get ribeye. They ran out at the market, Where but they it? sold out. So, um, they only had this New York Strip, which is very similar to ribeye. So it should work out still. Yeah. Um, and Mark also washed up some tomatoes, which we'll be preparing uh, further along, and some. That's probably the hardest part, I would say, that you had to do to prepare for. Oh, us everything today. else was easy. And the secret ingredient for tonight. No, it's, not. it's the prop things. <laughs> you ruin all the illusions. First, you tell them about the rice snafu, and now you're like showing people what's propping this. I was trying to show. I'm you sure that. you could use M and M's in cooking because the chocolate will melt. So you, instead of adding sugar, you could just use M and M's. Yeah, but I'll argue and say there's no peanuts in this. Oh, <laughs> are you gonna bring up the peanut scandal again? <laughs> just kidding. We're not using M and M peanuts. So after we, um, so we're going to start with the marinade of the, uh, the meat and it's a quick marinade because you don't want to over, you don't want to marinate this meat overnight because, uh, some of the flavor, like the things we're going to be marinating with will intensify the meat if yeah. it marinates too long. So it's going to be a quick marinade, like 20, 30 minutes. Okay. And in that time, Mark's also going to be making uh, rice. So we're going to take a short field trip over to that corner of the kitchen. Uh, he's going to show us how to make the rice, and then we're just going to chill. We're, we're going to do wine and some beer tonight. So trying to keep it, like, not super complicated, so we'll see how far we get. Um, and before we even get to any of that, we've hit our first like goal. Uh, we've hit 50 likes. So we're going to share our screen, and I know it's a little different than what I'm used to, so... Okay. All right. Let's All right. spin the wheel. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. You know, there was a huge talk early on about, um, oh, okay. Oh, this actually okay. will be perfect because when the rice is cooking and the meat's marinating, I think we have a small window of time. Perfect. So okay. we're going to play the Dalgona game. If you're like, what is that? Stick around. We're going to play that in a moment. All right. So let's see. Let's get a little swig in so I can calm my nerves because, you know, I get a little anxious when I have to cook, right? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Oh, I didn't even drink this on Friday, huh? <laughs> you did it. You, yeah. You kept holding it. I'm going to drink the beer. I'm going to drink the beer. But you never opened it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Ray just checked in, sending you healing vibes. He's on day one of 10 of his quarantine. 
Oh no! Just watch all our videos. Watch all the old lives one, like all of them. That'll that'll take up ten days, I think. <laughs> yeah, just don't go to sleep and just. You don't have to do that. You need to sleep. Rest. Don't go to sleep. And just prop your eye open and just force watch all of our videos. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move things off to the side. Give myself some more room. And actually, before I do anything, I'm gonna start off with the tomatoes. I'm surprised you didn't eat this. Oh, I'm saving that one for popcorn. Oh, yeah. So the recipe, uh, Pylan's Kitchen, she has a YouTube channel. So I just looked up Baloblak and then her channel came up. So she recommends doing little slits in the tomatoes. Does anyone have any idea why? So it doesn't burst open? Oh, no. Oh, uh, sorry. Was I, I got confused. I was like, are you asking me? But I just realized you were asking the chat. Yeah, that's oh. fine. Um, yeah, because if you just throw this in uh, the hot pan and you bite into it later, all the hot juices will burst in your mouth, which is one of the reasons why I don't really like cherry tomatoes to begin with. Um, so this kind of helps minimize that. I'm just doing little slits here real quick. Are we turning on the air just in case? Is that No, I um, I had an urgent oh, okay. message, so I just... At work, so I just need to respond back. You know, when you say urgent message on here, everyone thinks uh, prison boyfriend, though. We need to call it something else. <laughs> they really do. Uh, David B says, hi, James and Mark. Welcome to the live stream. Oh, and we need to change the light goal. I'll do that in a minute. Oh, I could, I yeah. could help. All right. You know, James is prepping. So I go to brand. And then we do every 25 likes on Monday. Yep. Woo, look how good I am. That was perfect. <laughs> okay. Michael says there was a can of beer next to our elevator here on our floor. It was there for 24 hours before somebody finally claimed it. Well, you know what? Michael is very resourceful. <laughs> You're very polite to have to wait 24 hours before someone claims it so that you could have it. This reminds me of one of our friends. I'm they had kidding. a pizza that was accidentally um, delivered good. to their place and no one claimed it. Did he end up eating it? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, he did it. Because it's like sketch pizza. He didn't know how long the pizza was sitting there before he got home. So, yeah, I don't know. All right. So, we're going to take the steak. Here's the piece. A good New York. New York. New York Street. Yeah. And what we're going to do is cut them in cubes because chicken beef is eaten in cubes, not strips. I don't know if I've ever cubed a steak before, so this will be interesting. I'm going to go. Uh, Ray has doctor's appointment. Um, so hopefully you get some medicine to help with any of your symptoms. Uh, Hannah asks, what time does Mark usually come from work? Well, it depends on what my schedule is. Sometimes I say for the full day. Um, sometimes, like tomorrow, I have an evening meeting from 5 to 7, so I'll be home later. And then some days when I have no meetings and I just have a lot of work that needs to be done without any distraction, sometimes I come home early to finish my day at home. So... Mm. I don't know. Each day is kind of very different. Sometimes, like, I think I'm coming home, and then uh, and then James is expecting me, but I don't come home because something, like, last minute pops up or someone comes into my office. So mm -hmm. that has happened quite a few times. And then Michael says they don't drink beer. Well, uh, then the, Michael might be a closeted beer drinker and that, Mike, you just don't know about it. <laughs> What's up, Sabrina? Happy Monday. And Julie would have would have eaten the pizza. Actually, oh. it was I think it was two boxes of medium pizza from Domino's plus an order of chicken wings. Yeah. So Bubba would have for sure eaten the chicken wings. Oh, for sure. He would not have <laughs> let that go to waste. I think I would have eaten it too. I would have, I think. I don't know if I would have nowadays, especially like during 
Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, like someone laced it with something? I, yeah, like I just don't trust things. Isn't that better? <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember, don't take any advice you hear on our channel here. All right, so I just finished cubing that up. I'm going to just set this aside because I think I'm done with all the knife work I'm going to need. Let me double check. Boop, 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 boop. I think we're good. So boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. My hands. And then X, X Dead Doll X says, I've had it. It's delicious. I finally got to catch a live. Thanks for joining us. Yes, we go on live typically every Monday, Fridays at 6 p.m. our time in Pacific Western time, Pacific Standard Time. But um We'll announce if anything changes in terms of our schedule. But for now, it's Monday and Friday. However, this Friday. We're not going to go on live because we're going to be out of town. Yeah. Unless I like get drunk enough and I'm like, I want to go live. <laughs> um, all right. So we're going to start assembling our marinade here. So I got my little sheet here. This is I'm, I'm like master chef, Ooh. like first season where they didn't edit out people like looking at the recipe. Remember? You were oh, the one that caught that. That was a little kind of like, uh, that kind of ruined the, <laughs> the illusion. illusion of that show. All right. So I'm going to use some oyster sauce. You know, that concept of oyster sauce is a little weird to me. So is it literally oysters and then they like mix it up until like it... sugar and other like seasoning? Yeah, that's so interesting. It's like, yeah, seafood Worcestershire sauce, you yeah. know, for seafood flavor and sweeter. So we're going to add one tablespoon of this. Actually, I want to add the sugar first because I have to scoop it out of the bag. Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. So let's do, a, this says teaspoon, TSP is teaspoon. So I'm just gonna do, I can eyeball for you. No, a little more than that. A little, oh, I'll just do this to start. Yeah, same amount of, oh, okay. double that amount, that should be a teaspoon. And then Corlisa, hello from Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, feel free to highlight the comments. Too, oh, sure, yeah. Go. There we go. Hey, Memphis, Tennessee. welcome Tennessee. Do you think we'll go to Tennessee in the next 10 years? I want to. 10. <laughs> I, I hear that both Tennessee. Nashville and Memphis are fun places to go visit, so maybe. Yeah. Uh, Mark, is that Hedy with the top hat on my sweater? Uh, oh. It looks like Hedy, right? But it's a it's a Jindo dog, which is a Korean dog. Mm. Jindo, Jindo yeah. yeah. And he's wearing a cat. He looks like he's wearing like a, oh, a he looks like he could be like for Halloween wearing like a wizard hat or, or like a witch does hat. Does it look like a wizard? A little bit. It's a cat, which is a traditional style Korean hat for men. Mm. Kind of looks like a top hat, but it's netted. Tablespoon. Is this whole spoon? Heaping spoon. Heaping. Make sure you get enough mound on there. Okay. <laughs> mound. Yeah. All right. So we got that in here. And then James is on. Isn't chicken beef what happens when you tickle Channing Tan? You don't even know his name. How do you pronounce his name? Just say Magic Mike. Magic Mike guy. Yeah. Or step it Chicken beef. Oh, yeah. That's funny that you would reference that movie. That's um, why I want to say that's how I first knew him from that movie. Oh. Uh, with I Claire Danes look alike. Julia Stiles. Oh. Julie Stiles. Wait, Which now I'm she... getting confused. She is in a movie, but is that the movie she was in with him? Because oh, you're no. thinking you saved the last dance. <laughs> I cannot with you. You are the worst. Oh, the step up is she's uh she has big eyes in that. I don't Whoever know where the act the main actress is. That's like Yeah. <laughs> I remember him from the Amanda Bynes movie where she dresses up as a boy and they play soccer together. Oh, I don't think I've seen that before. All right. Um, now we're going to add a half a tablespoon of soy sauce. So do a spoonful, but without the mound. Okay. Okay. Uh, now it says uh, one half teaspoon of black soy sauce. So I'm just going to do one, okay. two, and one big garlic clove. So I know I asked Mark to do like more than one, but I did we, five. Lo we love garlic. So I did 
Five Make it however you things. want, okay? So I'm going to add the garlic here. Move it up a little close so you can see. Um, and some black pepper. That's easy peasy. Very easy peasy. Let's see, Michael, thank you for, Mike, thank you for letting everyone know that we have 12 more likes before we hit our next like goal right here. Tiffany's on, yum. Uh, follow block. Follow block. And then Adam is on, which we were just, we were just talking about talking you. Talking about you. We were just talking about you. How we think you ate the mysterious pizza. <laughs> we, sh we should have had him guess, like, what do you think we were bringing up first? But... Oh, I know. <laughs> How are you? How are you? And then Honor? Oh, the, those are uh, spam comments, I think, because there's not. Those, oh, those those not are, really <gasps> what does that mean? Is that oh, like a bad website? Okay, delete that comment. Okay, Lindsay uh, says hi from Albuquerque. Which, hi. okay, the first time, the first thing I think of when I hear Albuquerque mm. is guess. New and Mexico, if you guess, no, right? nah, New Mexico. Oh. Like, guess like what I would think about, and then if you get it right, I'll give you like ten more. Like I'll give you a lot. Abercrombie and Fitch. Interesting. Why that? Because it sounds like Albuquerque. Okay. Well, I, have, I feel like it has nothing to do with Albuquerque. It kind of does in a way. I think of the uh, Ethel Mertz. Oh, where is she from? Albuquerque. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there are a couple she of does, episodes yeah. that she makes a reference to. She does she's reference from. it. Yeah. All right. Real quick. Here is. If you didn't really pay attention, it kind of looks like poke, <laughs> like tuna. Poke. It does look like cute tuna pieces. So um, we're just going to let it chill out for about 20 minutes. Um, so we're going to segue into making our rice because the rice is going to take, if you remember, how long did the rice take in the video? Oh, I don't think we even said. Um, I think it's going to take around 20-ish minutes. So Mark is going to head over there in a moment. We have some time. Do I have to refrigerate this or can it just sit here? Just sit out. All right, let's just let it sit out. I'm going to finish my beer, catch up on chat. Keep liking this video. Last I saw, we were like at 70 ish likes. Uh, Adam got COVID on New Year's Eve, but I'm better now. We are oh, so glad to hear you recovered. Uh, this is Viet Vietnam. This uh, balok luck is a Vietnamese dish. But it's. If you never had this dish before, or you like rarely tried Vietnamese food, this might be the one of the um, food that I would recommend to get you first introduced to Vietnamese food. Yeah, absolutely. It's just basically really good steak pieces, and you eat it with white rice, mm -hmm. and then you would get more used to the Vietnamese flavors with different, more exotic foods. But I want to say this dish is a good, good everyone it's a gateway. Like it. it's, it's a, a gateway, gateway to yeah. heaven. <laughs> we have brenda from texas welcome all right we have some guesses the first thing i think of when i hear albuquerque is the hot air balloon festival and mariachis oh oh interesting okay we have amy from north dakota oh welcome. rare pokemon you know what i wonder if we've ever had a stream where someone was from every state at once at once probably not <gasps> should we do a challenge I don't know. I, like we only we stay on until there happens. were quite a few, not quite a few, but I, I one time some I forgot who it was, but a couple of people were from Alaska. Do you remember that? Yes. And we're like, Whoa, but they yeah. all kind of came on at the same time. Yeah, I felt like, like YouTube was like, okay, all these Alaskans might watch these guys. Yeah. Like, did we do like Alaskan king crab or like why? <laughs> why was yeah, there one like, from Alaska? We're like, why true? are like more than one person from Alaska watching this live? But if you had a guess, like a state we don't often see like what what state would you say like north dakota north dakota is rare yeah um have you seen wyoming maybe I, maybe oh, because like i stream someone I, said that no. yes because i and then i said oh the only place i would know is helena and then they're like oh not too far from helena. oh like kentucky i feel like i haven't said kentucky yeah. in a long time right no is anyone from kentucky no kentucky yeah someone's been in kentucky no i mean like just from it's like a one I don't say often. Yeah, we don't say often, but I remember someone is from Kentucky. Did I say Maine, Rhode Island, New York, West Virginia? 
Washington, D.C. I see a lot. Yeah, it's, inter- it's interesting. A lot of Florida. Georgia. Yes, there is a lot of Florida. A lot of Oregon, a lot of Washington. <laughs> Thanks for liking the thumbnail. Michael says Bugs Bunny when I hear Albuquerque. Oh, oh that's a good one. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Laura says, hi from San Antonio. We got a lot of Texans. Yes. yes. Uh, we are not making the red rice tonight with it. We're, we're keeping it simple for us. The main uh, MVP of tonight is the steak. Yes. And uh, oh my gosh, I forgot about the dipping sauce. I am going to make the dipping sauce. So I do need, I can use a different knife. I forgot I need to cut some limes for the dipping sauce because there is a salt and pepper it's an optional dipping sauce, but salt and pepper and lime, and that's it. Uh, no green chili, no. But we do have something on the window, uh, not the on the wheel that will add spice to our dish. All right, we have Kimba from Indiana. Okay, okay. We have Houston, Mississippi, mm. Long Island. Well, Ray says Idaho. I know you're from California. But he's <laughs> saying Idaho is like something we don't often say. say. Okay. Uh, Louisiana. We have we have. Tony, I I want to say that would be an interesting live where we um, do like a live marathon and we can't get off until someone from each state says I'm here type of thing. Like oh, like be, we cross it off. Yeah, would that be kind of fun to do? Maybe not get off, but like we just see how many we see could how get. many we can get. People will have to be honest though, right? Portland, yeah, to show us your ID. <laughs> Oh, even a national, like an international one, would be fun too. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, that would be kind of fun. All right. So, uh, do you want to start on the rice then, maybe? Yeah, I'm okay. ready with my camera. All right. So we're gonna get the switcheroo here. It says some. Oh, do, do you have to send me a new link? Then? No, no, it's the same link. I, I, then I'm in. Uh, go I... back one step, because did you re-click on it? Yeah. be a challenge oh and then yep oh do i have to mute you before just, you go in? i just muted myself okay and then now just be oh. okay i'll cover this i can't i can't turn off the sound all the, all the way oh okay um do you are you going to get set up there or are you just going to show this I'll first show it. Oh, okay show people what we need to do all right so, so mark is getting his Little camera situation set up. James and James. Oh, oh that's weird. <laughs> Actually, I like the one on the right better than the full on one. Maybe you should just film it like this. Oh, yeah. Maybe even later you can, uh, if Hedy allows, we can go spy on him. I think he's on the couch, right? Anyways, he's going to. Um, Here's our beer. This is the wine that we're going to drink later. Yeah. And then just an interesting, like, different perspective, isn't mm-hmm. it? Okay. So I will walk over to our rice cooker. This is weird. Is it? Yeah. So here it is. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Uh, right before the live, I already um, rinsed and washed the rice. And today we're going to be using shirakiku mm-hmm. because I want to get rid of it yeah we should use all of it yeah i want to get rid of it and then not use our fancy eyes okay so <laughs> is she gonna greet us we'll see <laughs> barb says she needs a name go ahead and start throwing name suggestions in the chat we haven't named her i've been calling her cuckoo <laughs> Was that was was? I think it, that was probably hard to hear, huh? Because I had my mic off. Yeah. Well, y'all are getting the behind the scenes look here. Oh, hey, do Jen and love you too. Look at Hedy. He's just like chilling on the couch. This is like usually where he is while we're filming the stream. How do you read the comments? The font is so small. <laughs> Uh, it's not that bad. It probably looks a lot smaller on camera than anything. Okay, and then we'll start the rice cam again when um, 
the rice is done. Yeah, so it says what, 34 minutes? But why is it more now? More time? Then the last few times it was always at 29 minutes. That Interesting, the, huh? Oh, that <laughs> is weird. Uh, we have Stephanie here. Welcome to the live stream. All right, we have a couple things to get to. So we have to do those. We have to spin the wheel and then we still have to play the Balgona game. Okay, yeah. Because um, the lime sauce thingy will take, it'll be really quick. So let's spin the wheel first. Just get that one situated. Sorry, everything is like in a different spot on this one. So I have to like remember. All right, ready? All right, let's spin the wheel. All oh, right, what is the drawing this? game? Drawing game. Uh, it's, you remember that game that we played where we had to draw Hedu? Oh, yeah. It's that, basically. And then the viewers will get to vote on the better drawing, and then the <laughs> one that gets the worst drawing is a punishment. So we'll, we'll actually do it based on a poll. We won't do it loosey-goosey. I okay? see, I see. So we'll do that uh, later in the stream because we have to do the Dalgona first. So let me uh, stop sharing this. So our friends gifted us, uh, if you guys haven't heard of Squid Games, there's uh, the Dalgona like little cookie mm. thing. It's mm. one of the games. You have to use this little needle to like carve out the shape or the symbol. Um, so she gave us like, I think six different cookies. We're gonna draw at random. So we don't even know what cookie is okay. in there. Do I need to grab it? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the bag. K Moo says, me and Hedy are twins right now. As in like- Sleeping. Sleeping? Or Harry? <laughs> Old? All the layers? <laughs> just kidding. All right, so yeah, we, um, we're just gonna draw at random, but there's gonna be a punishment. But what's the punishment? We should at least have a punishment. Well, what, what, like what if we both lose? Then we both have to do the punishment? Yeah. Yeah, we have yeah it's always whiskey. like looking at the the bar, and I'm like, can't there be some other punishment? Like, I don't know, like um, push ups or something. Okay, push ups. Actually, I don't want to do push ups. I've been done in a while. Um, <laughs> how about to eat oh, five that's... cherry tomatoes at once? Okay, that's like a punishment for me. I do what's like the tomatoes. Yeah, what's the punishment for no, you? Just, it, and then it's like it's just all fun, bursting. Yeah, yeah, okay, it okay, explodes okay. your mouth at all. All right, who, want, who Let me grab the the needle first, so we don't. It's in this little set here. Okay. Oh, it's in a little. And then we're gonna again wild. draw at random a cookie that we have to. You have to draw very carefully. Do you want to go first or second? I'll let you go. Actually, the math is whoever draws first has more chance of what. Nothing because I don't even know what shape she made. Okay, okay, you go first. I'll let uh, ladies first. Okay, don't reveal it though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay just okay. so that we can make it exciting. Just conceal it as you get okay. All right, so I'm gonna set this off. Can we put this back on the table? I am nervous. All right, we're gonna reveal our shape. Are we gonna have a time limit too? Isn't there a time yeah, limit in the should, game? Okay. Should. All right, let's reveal okay. our shapes. Okay, ready, ready go. Set. No! What'd you get? You got the easy one. What's your, what is that? You got the umbrella. What? Oh, don't oh, crack it. Oh my God, I just cracked it, but it's Then you still, lost already. No, but I didn't crack the shape though. Lucky. Be careful. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, this is really delicate. Yeah. Oh, Christine made this very perfectly too. Oh yes, um, if you watched our Vegas vlog, Christine is the one we went to the buffet with. Yeah. What if I crack it on the way of like opening it? I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. The circle one was supposed to be the second. So this is the side I do because this is just the other mold, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, here's your needle. I thought her name was Cuckoo. Yeah, we haven't, I guess we haven't like officially made it. Garrett, welcome to the live stream. Oh, and let me change the light bulb to 100 because I haven't done that yet. But remind us, we have to play the, the picture game later. 
Has anyone actually done this in real life yet? Okay, how much time do we give ourselves? Um, I don't know, five minutes? Five minutes. So when it when that turns... Okay. Go. Well, you have to lick it? No, you have, you use your own strategy. Girl, this is hard. Am I supposed to? Well, how is licking it work? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm scared. We should have that squid music playing. Do, 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 do. This umbrella has a little knob in on the top. How am I going to get the knob in? Oh. I don't know if I'm doing, like, I'm just poking this, but I'm not even sure if this is working. Oh, we should. I, I broke it. I broke one edge of the umbrella. This part. <gasps> oh, mine cracked. <gasps> I'm still safe. <laughs> oh, I don't know how this whole piece came up. See, I would lick it, but then. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh my god, I'm using the needle the wrong end. Are you I'm really? Sure. Just right now. Okay, we have two and a half minutes left. I already lost because the my one like the edge of the umbrella part already cracked off. But so far, so good. I'm actually really impressed thus far. Oh, the cuckoo is she's she's working right now. She was this. hard for the money. Oh my god, I'm just getting like Oh, crazy. I broke my handle. I I lost. Hey, this is how much I have left. It looks like peanut this, brittle to me. This is how, I already I broke the handle off. I might lose from like time. They got 30 minutes in the actual movie though, or show, right? I really don't I want to see, I want to see if um the thing that they did on the show actually works. Wait, so you actually have to wash some tomatoes, huh? Yeah. And these are just edible? Yeah. Okay, I lost. Mmm, it's good. I need you to win the money for us. So I could... Girl, no, I get your portion. You're so, dead. So I could, so I could go Bye. shopping at the, in the afterlife. You want to put your needle back in? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> the umbrella to begin with looks super hard. It was faded. I do need to wash my hands. It's a little sticky from that, huh? Okay. Do you want your cookie or are you okay? Okay. All right. We have more. We do. Did Christine say she made all the shapes? Yeah. Well, I don't know all, but. Noah's World, welcome to the live stream. Double top. Okay. All right, so because Mark did not successfully complete that challenge, he has to eat five. 
tomatoes at once. Do I just suck it up? Are you gonna do you want to feed me? No, you just you just do all oh it's it's that way yeah. too? Oh I find this easy actually. But I'll do it since we that's all at once. Though. To, yeah. Okay. Oh, that would have been my worst nightmare. Not worse, but go ahead and go. Yeah. Go ahead and eat it. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, it's like eating like a big, like a like a big bite of a t tomato, like an apple. That's what it felt like. Mark, while I cut this line, can I just give you a small plate and can you just put salt and pepper in there for me? Use the glass uh, sauce bowl. Uh, how much salt and pepper would you like on here, sir? Just enough to cover the, the bottom, I guess. Okay. And then if it's not enough, I could always add more. Oh, our, did we already hit our light goal? Uh, we might just have hit our 100. Yeah, and Michael and Julie are saying that we made it to 100 likes. Excellent. We will get to that in a second. So we're making our dipping sauce, which supposedly this is a Vietnamese thing to do. Just uh, a lot of salt and pepper with a lot of lime juice mixed into it. Mm -hmm. um, I think when we had boiling crab, like the seafood boil, that's, I guess, owned by Vietnamese people, mm -hmm. is commonly served to eat with that. The first time I had that was, I think, with James. Yeah. Right? Do you want to use the juicer or are you going to squeeze it? I'm just going to squeeze it. It's fine. Okay. Oh, I might need to get the second one, huh? Get the juicer, yeah. I don't think I'll the juicer is going to make a difference. I think so. Okay. I think so. Let's see. So this is what James's hand strength was. And let's see how much more juice could be squeezed out of this piece. That's not that much. Is that actually a lot? That's not that much. That's me not letting him be right. No. Other way. <laughs> this way. Do we have enough? Yeah, I think it's plenty. And then you just mix it up and basically this is your dipping sauce. And I think I see some people saying this is really good with seafood. Yeah. Um, I think the first time I had this was with seafood. It's citrusy, salty, and peppery. Because that's exactly what this is. Yeah. Those three ingredients. All right, I'm just gonna clear up my space a little bit. Let me put some stuff in the fridge. We're almost ready for our wine too then, huh? Yeah. Oh, Mike, that's right. I think he did tell us last time that if we microwave the lime for a few seconds before, mm. you get more juice out of it. But we didn't remember. <laughs> Drawing game. Hmm? Drawing game? Or do you want to cook first? No, I guess we have a little bit of time to unwrap this stuff. So what are we drawing then? How about people start throwing? Explain the, the game. Okay. And then... okay, so um, so what we did last time was uh, you all suggested that we draw, or someone suggested we draw Heidi. So we drew this. Which we still need to send over to Julie. We still need to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna. So we landed on the wheel again, and we're gonna do a drawing competition. So right now, you all throw out some ideas of what we should draw, 
And then um, I guess you all get to vote on who drawing like more. Julie says draw each other. Barb says draw the rice cooker. <laughs> So far, good ideas. I'm gonna have to go to the office and grab that. Can you check if these work? This one works. And they both work. So we have a, we're, it's fair. We both have working pens. Uh, Sabrina says draw a peanut. That's hilarious. Poop shoot says draw the chilo frog. Draw your future. Now that's getting too complicated. Draw each other. Draw each other. I don't know. I think drawing each other would be fun, but also can be unnecessarily cruel. Oh, we shouldn't do each other because. Then you'll know you'll know who drew what, right? Yeah. It should be the same thing. Plus, if one person looks better than the other, that's an unfair advantage. Yeah, so I do not want to be at a disadvantage already starting the drawing competition. <laughs> uh, real quick, I ended the poll. The poll was, "Have you had bottle of luck before?" And 150 of you voted. How, what percent said yes? You did. <clears throat> uh, 37% said yes. Oh, I hope I looked at it right. It said 70. Oh, no. Actually, now I don't remember. <laughs> Is there, does it, when I end the poll, can you guys see it anymore? Okay. So, what what was the consensus on what to draw? And do I need to give you something so that we could hide as we're drawing it? Maybe I'll just use the box of the... Yeah, what should we draw? I didn't. I didn't get to hear any of the suggestions. I've been in and out. So you said not each other. Um, someone said future peanuts rice cooker. Are we allowed to look at the rice cooker? I'll let you decide. Just choose. Um, Julie says draw Eddie. No, that seems cruel. John too. says draw Spider Man. That's interesting. That's I've, topical. I've never drew Spider Man in my life. I don't really? think I've ever, but I, I can you at least visualize Spider-Man? Like barely. I don't okay, let's do I guess we'll do Spider-Man. Okay, Spider-Man sounds fun. Alright. Make sure yours is hidden. Like behind the box. That's why you got but here. Then we'll be so close to each other. Okay. This, this is good. Okay. How much time do we give ourselves? Uh let's do not not that long, maybe three minutes. Three minutes? Okay, go. <laughs> I don't remember anything about him now. Spider-Man's kind of hefty now. <laughs> what are those broad strokes you're doing over there? Oh 
much time do we have left? Two minutes ish. I don't even know, like, any other characters in Spider-Man. April? That's that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> the Simon is Spider-Man. You're drawing all these other characters to distract? I don't know. Mine kind of looks like a mummy. And just like that, our rice cookers is about done. And I think it's time's up. <laughs> oh, rice cooker is done. Oh, which we're not, we'll show you the rice afterwards. Okay. Let me mix it up. And then I have to, um, I have to go to the other room to set up the pole. Okay, so we're gonna make it very simple. It's either one or two. So I'm gonna show drawing number one. Neither of us could say anything so that people don't get swayed by favoritism. All right, here's drawing number one. Oh, bear. Oh, we don't say anything. Yeah. Here, hold one. And here's drawing number two. Something, what is it? I, I caught dinner. dinner. Oh, and it's a web with flies there. <laughs> All right, why don't you keep holding these so I can set up the poll real quick. Actually, I might be able to do it. Uh, let me do it here. Oh my goodness, this is too funny. This is one, and this oh, is and then while while we don't have anything up, what's the punishment then? I don't know. We're just no punishment. Last time we just did uh, bragging rights. Oh, bragging rights. Yeah, let's just do that. That's fine. So. Better Spider -Man. Spider Man drawing. And your options are one. Can you point one again? This is one. Okay. And two. And this is two. All right, cast your votes. And we'll just leave. Yeah. <laughs> That was hard. Oh, that was hard. Yeah, go ahead and drop your. Uh, there's some funny commentary in here. Yeah, Eddie, James, don't say anything. Mark immediately says something. I said that it's, was pretty. Like what I was gonna say. Oh, that's very. You didn't finish your thought. You just. I was. I was gonna say something positive. That's one really fabulous Spider-Man. Oh, I'll have to look back. Which one was fabulous? I think yours, because it was like. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Actually, I think it's pretty obvious who Drew was. So I think you just vote who you like more. That's it. I know, but I don't care about it. It's because I gave clear instructions and you're not following it is what's triggering. I'd love a signed copy. Well, we can bring pen and paper all weekend and draw whatever you want, John. <laughs> SJ, welcome. Did Spider-Man get run over by a truck? He looks flat like a pancake. <laughs> Mark, did yours have clothes on? I think so. Yours actually had better, um, like, muscles. Oh. I Mine was just, it looked very, like, it looked like this. <laughs> Where is it? I mean, we could just hold ours up. It doesn't matter, it like doesn't you said, matter, I guess. Yeah. yeah, why is mine? Mine looks more fabulous, <laughs> like, this way. <laughs> 
This looks fabulous. This is like fine. What city is he from? New York. Okay, good. I'm just surprised. Were you going to draw another character? You should have just drawn it because I'm curious what it would have ended up. No, but I was, I actually got mine on, in time. So that's why I wanted to draw more. But oh, I, I was see, mindful I see. of the, the two, three minutes. Oh, you did a better um, eye, eye work. Is isn't it, eye isn't it like netted? I couldn't could tell. We both have that little squiggly line on the mask, though. Yeah, you did a better job at muscle definition. And then I guess the flies. <laughs> Looks like gingerbread man. <laughs> Your style. Oh, no, style. it does. It look especially from this angle. Jagger says, James getting mad at Mark, but he asked Mark, what does this say? Well, because I couldn't that. read it. I would have just left it here and then you all would have asked. Well, mine's a true Spider-Man because it's a comic book. And then I actually have text of mine. Yeah, but there's sections where there's no text. <laughs> <laughs> the action explains everything. Uh, we have not gotten to watch the new one. I do want to watch the new one, though. Okay. Okay, well, let's... James... Oh, Kathy! She won a fight today! James' Spidey looks like him from Friday's Live. <laughs> All right, let's just, let's just end the poll so we don't drag it on. So how's it going? Oh, we have a clear winner. Which one was one? Yours. Mm, I'm surprised. Actually, I really think yours is better. Why? Uh, yours had more detail. Oh, I was, no, I, but I mine was gonna was... say that yours is more detailed. But now I can't get over the fact that it's so fabulous <laughs> slash gingerbread man. Like I can't unsee or unthink either of those. Anyways, that was a fun little side quest that we had. So let's uh, start cooking the meat. Okay. And the rice is done, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna move this over here. Just like that. And it says to do it on medium high heat. That's too high though. Oh, okay. okay. Here's the meat again. I'm gonna add some oil to the pan first. Yeah, be warned, this might splatter a little bit, so I, you're wearing a new sweater, so I'm really concerned. Be okay sitting here like this? Oh, this is so oily. Yeah, I'll let you take over uh, the mouse. Okay. Did we hit 100, did we do the 100 like goal? That was that, right? No, that was... Did we not spin yet? No, we didn't spin yet. Okay, let me do that real quick then. And then we'll... So we're at 125 is the new goal. Enter screen. Entire screen. All right, ready? All right, spin the wheel. Oh, perfect. Great. Let's uh we'll take care of that after we finish cooking. Right? Well, let's start it and then you cook so Oh, okay, okay. Just, yeah. So, why don't we explain everyone how that works? All right. So, this is a subscriber giveaway. So, everyone who's in our chat right now could guess a number between 1 to 1000 when we say go. Uh, one guess per person. If you guess more than once, then our mods may not even enter you into the drawing. So make sure you only guess once. We'll give everyone three minutes to put in your guesses. And let's start the time right now. Put in your guesses. Think of a number between 1 to 1,000. The closest one to the number that it lands on will win a $10 gift card to the amazing Amazon. At the amazing Spider-Man? The amazing <laughs> Spider-Man. I think it's hot enough so i'm gonna the closest person to get to the number it doesn't matter if you go under or older under or older the closest person will win Ooh.
We're going to have to deep clean stuff today. Oops. Two more minutes to put in your dressing. It looks good so far. And then James, methodically and strategically, evenly squeezed out all the cute pieces of steak in the frying pan. So she told me not to dump, uh, to dump it all in because you want it to brown. And so if you add the excess marinade, that's why I did it that way, if you were wondering. <laughs> Not that I'm crazy. So we're just going to let it sit for like a minute and then we're going to do the shaking part, which is the next step. But All right, we have 10 more seconds. So put in your guesses right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and then Julie Smith is our last guess. So we'll go ahead and generate the number and then we'll have the mods confirm who got to the closest. Yes. Let's do that really quickly. All right, ready? All right, so let's generate the number. Six, four, five. Six, four, five is the number. Good luck to everybody. All right, and then we'll have our mods confirm all right, so I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. Ooh, this is kind of fun. <laughs> it kind of. On this camera, looks weird. It looks weird on camera, actually. Yeah. All right, and then for any pieces that didn't get to brown, you could just use your tongs and flip it over. Somehow when she did it, everything was perfect. I don't know how she did it, but. So we're gonna do a medium rare on this, so we don't really need to cook it for too long. Perfect. And then at this stage of the game, okay, we're just gonna let it sit for a second. We're gonna add the tomatoes, probably in another like 30 seconds. Finish my beer. All right, we have two mods confirming that SJ with a guess of 657 is the closest. Okay. So congratulations to SJ. Um, SJ, please message me on Instagram at jamesvanlay or jamesvanlay at gmail.com. And we will get you squared away with your gift card. Congratulations, SJ. And everyone, thanks for participating. All right, I'm going to add the tomatoes now. Oh, the tomatoes look cute in this. Yeah. And now you're just blistering this the tomato. Yeah, she didn't even leave it in that long, but... Just a, little, just a smidge. And we didn't end up doing green onion, right? We sprocked that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, all that like oil from earlier and the, from the steak has coated the tomatoes. Yeah, right? doesn't that look good? Very shiny tomatoes. Then I'll go ahead and open up this bottle one first. Excellent.
स्वागत All right, I think we're good. We don't want to overcook this. Because you cube the steak, is it quicker to cook? To I think so, yeah. That makes sense. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pack cube so I can set it there, and then we'll assemble it real quick, and then I'll move it off. I have no idea how James is going to play this. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I have to scoop some rice. Yeah, should we show rice or do people get the idea? You can show the rice. Really? Okay. Yeah. Might as well. This is just chilling out for a second. I'll have Mark show the rice because I'll need you. Can you just scoop a mound each and then I'll figure out the rest? Just, a just like a normal. Mm -hmm. A circle mound or a flat? Circle mound. Okay. It will look nice. Yeah, right in the middle? Uh, to the side. Right in the middle. I'll dress up the lettuce leaves first because I think that should be let me do that first before you get added so I kind of want to just do like a little bit of an array here can you see that yeah you can all see that kind of looks like the presentation I'm just copying from from high <laughs> from your day oh from chicken so, wrap yeah And then, yeah, just the amount of rice here. Right in the middle? Yeah, right in this empty space okay. here. Yeah. Okay. Enter me in, and then I'll go over. All right. Let's add Mark to the stream. Let's do the full mode so you can see it. Okay. So I'll do one at a time. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all getting two for one right now. This is cuckoo rice. We made rice earlier on in the stream, so we wanted to show you uh, that. Mark is wetting the little spoon. Okay, so let's do the moment of truth here. So it's locked right now, so we have to unlock it. Mark is unlocking it right now. You might have to project your voice. Oh, I, I forgot. And then. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Great job on the meal, you two. Looks divine. Okay. All right. Yeah, go ahead and hold it for us. There we go. So, yeah, the recipe also asked, it said, like, to make a quick pickled onion, but I didn't have time for that. That's what I was supposed to do, the onion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Duh, I usually, sometimes there's onion in here, but I omitted that accidentally. Um, it's fine. Do we have kimchi? Yes. I might do a side of kimchi, though, just off to the side. It doesn't have to be part of the plating. But yeah, look at this. Doesn't that look good? Thank you. All right, I'm going to just start assembling this one while Mark has that one going. Hmm. Is there one on top? Yeah, I think on top will look nicer.
more tomatoes for Mark. Yeah, uh, James bought an onion too. We're gonna saute onions. Yeah, that's okay. This will work. Oh, it looks really good though. Good job. Thank you. You're a little slippery. Oh, use a spoon, not a tongue. So you could also scrape yeah, some okay. sauce. Yeah, I had the marinade in that one, so I want. Just gonna use this. One grab the. It's okay. I'm almost done. I can't tell if I. This is the thing when Mark portions, he's really good about it, but I just have no sense of it. <laughs> Give yourself so. more. This was yours because I added more tomatoes to this one. Do you need more meat? No. Give yourself more. That's oh, fine. that's good. Did you want some of the drippings? Oh yeah. Pour. Th make make the meat shiny. More drippings means more flavor. There was something on the wheel that I wish we landed on it. It was to add like this hot pepper oh, thing that we just crushed got. Crushed up chili pepper that, yeah, we just got from Should the we just add it? I don't care. No, that's fine. Not too many dip pl plates or dishes, so that's good. All right, here is beautiful the final product. Very beautiful. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a photo and then we're done. Actually, I did do this for a picture. <laughs> Which one looks better? Does this look weird? <laughs> or like here? Oh, that looks nice there. Okay. And then make sure I don't forget about the um, sauce. Oh, the dipping sauce. That yeah, the made. dipping sauce that Mark made. Wow, I feel like I'm a Vietnamese like food blogger. Giving myself too much credit, but no, it looks good it on looks camera. Really, it smells really good. It looks beautiful. I can't wait until we get to try it. Okay, I'm going to get us utensils. I forgot to get that. What would you like? Chopsticks or? Spoon and. Spoon? Spoon. Spoon. It's fine. Okay. Oh, it might be hard to dip the meat though, but. Oh, then we probably do need chocolates. Yeah. So, a rotate. You still want a spoon, though, right? Gonna get these wooden ones. Yeah. Okay, I'll bring this closer to us or to you so you can see it. So, does that mean we're at 150 likes? Oh, and kimchi. Do you want kimchi? Um, You wanted kimchi, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're, we are at 125 likes, so that means we do need to do a wheel spin. Because we've only done three so far? Oh. We've done the Dalgona drawing. So No, we've done three already. So 50, 75, 100. Yeah, we did three. So we didn't do 125 yet. So we have to, done, we have to do 125. John says, what are we cooking Friday night? <laughs> the better question is, what is Tiff cooking Friday night? <laughs> I don't know what the um what the plans are actually. Should we FaceTime after? <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Figure we should, we, should we should figure out what's going on. Yeah. Lord be still on, Lord B. Got a little kimchi, kimchi lovers. 
Uh, Eddie says, I have such mixed feelings about these plates. They're technically bowls, but we're using them as plates um, because they look like human dog bowls. Interesting. So, Eddie How much do is... you have in common with Hedu? Eddie is Hedu then. That's what you said earlier. Okay, this looks really good. Cheers. Cheers. Good job. Hmm. No live on Friday. Um, yeah, no live on Friday. Laura's here. Y'all can decide the menu. What? I'm just going to drink all weekend. Why eat? Let's not eat. <laughs> Let's just drink. That's just like a detour for my alcohol hit to hit my system. All right. Okay, so I'm going to try a piece of steak Just first. straight up, yeah. Mm. That's just so long Really one. good. Can you say that? Long what? Long what? Long Nyong. What? What? Mm-hmm. Nyong what? Very delicious. Ooh! I made this. Very, very good. Mmm. Mmm. Rice perfectly done. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dip a little bit in this sauce here. Oh, yeah. Just a very dough. Like, you really don't need this dipping cloth, but it does give it an interesting new layer of flavor. Mm -hmm. But it's already, the steak in itself is already garlicky and soy saucy. They don't really need it. Yeah, that's why people consider it optional. So it's nice to just have if you want to break things up. It freshens it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. John says, Tiffany says she'll decide the menu, but she wants to watch the cooking. <laughs> Right? I mean, it's kind of like our vacation, too. Do we want to cook? Mm -hmm. Laura says, I'm just going to drink. <laughs> All right. The, the three of us will. Do you have a tomato yet? I did. Did that trick actually do anything? Like slitting it at all? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's still intact. Mm. Um, we use a New York strip. And we will spin for 125 after we finish eating. But we cut up on everything that we're supposed to do, right? Yes. We did. So yeah, yeah. we just need to spin and just do whatever it says. Why don't we spin it now? Because it could land on the Thai chili pepper. Oh, yes. That would be great. Mmm. This was so easy to make. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm surprised. And they charge for sure like $13 for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? All right, let's spin the wheel. Uh-oh, what is it? What is it? Whoa! Oh, we got Yay! it! sharing so we um went to this one vietnamese restaurant yesterday and for some reason their their chopped up thai chili pepper which oh it's still in the freezer yeah i might have to bring the garlic bowl mm -hmm. and then just yeah let's scrape some in there scrape some in here but but they're still frozen mm -hmm. um but for some reason their chopped Chili pepper is like really spicy. Some at other restaurants, Look is it hit or miss? It's like sometimes it's spicy, sometimes it's not. But as soon as you add it to your bumble way or other like dish, it just instantly makes it spicy. And then they have a little to go section at the restaurant. So we um, decided to pick some up. Yeah. All right. Is that good? You don't actually need that much of this. Yeah. Let's just start off with that and see if that gets us anywhere. You should just scrape it on our dish, huh? Oh. <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just next time I guess we do find on using I We have them. yeah, we have to we have to defrost. We have to defrost it. You already add some? Mm-hmm. To mine too yet? Or not? No, yet? Okay. Only to mine. Oh, it's mmm. I'm gonna add it to like the, the meat part because then it will 
It's like they only choose the spiciest Thai chili pepper. I don't know how they know. It's like they know. Yeah. Instantly, I'm feeling it here. Just hearing you talk about it is making me sweat. Mmm. Yeah. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Spice of your life, yes. Oh. No, it's not a spoonful in our mouth. Ooh, just a little bit. It's hot. Mm. Woo. Right, I'm supposed to change to 150. Wow, we're at one. We're almost at. Yeah. Does your arms have stuff? It says, what's with the hoodie mark? Show us your arms. Are there anything even on the arms? I don't think so. Are there? No. Uh, I don't think you'll hear the siren today. I think we're okay. I'm going to make a little. I'm going to eat this. Like a little lettuce wrap, maybe. Now, this is traditionally Korean barbecue sauce when you do your lettuce wrap. Mm. So do a little this, maybe add a kimchi. Add a little tomato. Look at this. This is this does remind me of what we did on Friday, huh? Mm. Oh, my says, I meant take off your hoodie. Mmm, warm. I'm not wearing a shirt underneath. <laughs> you don't want to see that. Good job on this. And normally when I'm not feeling adventurous when we go out to eat at a Vietnamese restaurant, this is something that I t I used to order a lot. Yeah. When I, I'm, I'm just feeling like steak, but we're at a video restaurant and they don't have steak, then this is what I would eat, what I would order. Mm, the blue lights in the back is just uh, some LED background light just to add a little pop color. It changes color. There's a mode where if there's music playing on the background or no music, it'll like do those party lights. Mm -hmm. mm. Normally, I like the warm like orange light, but um, I've been having that lately a lot during December. So... January just feels like the movie Frozen and like blue, ice blue, cool blue, you know? So that's what we have going on right now. Julie says, we want to see you flex like your Superman pick. All right, next time we go on live, you can't wear a long sleeve, I guess. <laughs> uh, Rizma, hi, welcome to the live stream. Gigi says, you are making me hungry. What's the best brand of kimchi to buy? Ooh, that's a really... Everyone likes their kimchi differently. It's really hard to answer that. Um, I say buy a few and then you decide. Because your taste might be a little bit different, right? You can't go with Bibigo's brand. But we bought theirs for the first time this time around. Mm, it's good. James liked it. But it already comes kind of fermented. Mm -hmm. um, I like a brand called... Kimchi Nada, which literally stands for kimchi country. But that is a local mom and pop kimchi store here in Garden Grove. And they also kind of make enough to sell at the local Korean markets here. So I don't think they have it outside of California or outside of Southern California. Are the lights considered light bars? They're like little pillars, right? They're like... They're like I stand up. Like a six inch stand. And then we have it 
we're having it face the wall right now. And how fast do we go through kimchi? Well, I guess it depends on what we eat. Yeah, it really does depend. We we try to buy like the small jars of it, not the big one for sure. But even though it's more costly, but we know we don't eat the kimchi fast enough, fast enough to eat to get the big size. So we get the kind of like a the small Skippy peanut butter jar. If you could imagine what that size is, we try to get around that size mm -hmm. at a time. Are you saving your rice or are you worried because John and Tiff are in here and Laura John, are saving best for last? John, Tiff, and Laura, they're my biggest competition. <laughs> but I'm kind of eating all my rice still, though. I've, I've been trying to, yeah, like, help you. yeah. A, a meal also has a little bit more, too, but you could have, you could finish I'm just going to take some of this. Look at this. I'm not going to waste this. Hmm. I think the steak actually ended up being perfect amount because if we did get more, I would eat it. But I'm also eating because of just is because it's in front of me, but not necessarily portion size. Right? Oh, I would have gotten a bigger piece of steak. But you're not even eating your rice. But I would. I'll eat my meat. Um, no, because normally I like to like to have at least half a pound per person of protein meat. But the steak size that we got for this one was 0.67 pounds. Mm. So kind of like in between half of what I what we would normally do. And then yeah. But still perfect, perfectly portioned though, because you know it's not like I'm so hungry I could eat like you know mm -hmm. more, but just the right amount. Cindy says, one of my favorite is Lucky Foods Soul Vegan Kimchi. Honestly, so good. Ooh. I wonder if we did like a blind taste test of a vegan kimchi, if we could tell. Mm -hmm. Elmay says, can you guys make bun cool on next live? If you already have, disregard this comment. We haven't made it on a live, but we did do a video on it. If you just type in bun cool, James and Mark, I'm sure it'll pop up. Which one? Oh, the one that the rice paper one? Yeah. Yeah, we have a video of it. That might be the same video where I cut your hair. Oh, yeah, I think so. Was it? Maybe that's why no one knows that we did it because the thumbnails you're just cutting my hair. Oh, I, I cut James's hair because during COVID, no one was cutting hair, so we had to kind of do it our at home. You cut my hair once. <laughs> Never again. You cut my hair like seven times, I think. Not. Oh, really? Each time I did worse and worse and worse. You would think I would be better at it each time, but I think my best one was the first time because I was so focused and concentrated. That, that haircut took like two hours, I felt like. <clears throat> well, I also had to use an iron. Oh, yeah, because we didn't have the spray yet. I didn't have any spray bottle. Mm. And James kept falling asleep. <laughs> I I'm like, like a little chin. Kid. Up. I was like, chin up, chin up. You're like, oh, no, oh. you can say that. You said chins up. <laughs> chins up. Meanie. <laughs> Uh, Joanne says bun sale. Oh, we love bun sale. I think we, I don't, oh, we did, did we do a live? Yeah, we did do a <laughs> live a, on yeah. that. Yeah. We did a Korean bun sale. Laura says Jeff has been killing it as well. Maybe because he has to eat whatever I eat. So I we, gained the most weight in the last two days. Can we order? Are you sure not going to eat any of this rice? A <laughs> big cake for Jeff and Laura tonight. And we say you, if you love us, you need to eat all of it. <laughs> I feel like Laura and Jeff need spicy noodles in life. So that party, did Jeff even eat the? No, nope. he gave he, up. He didn't so, want to try. Was he there? <laughs> he was there. Yeah. He was there, but like, he didn't like try. There, there. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was impressed with um, Laura. Laura, yeah, Laura. Mm, that rice. 
With I don't the, regret with it. With the sauce. I don't right? regret it at with all. With the sauce. If there's any leftover sauce in the frying pan, we have a little smidgen of rice that we want to just mix it in. I don't think, I, I literally poured out everything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gigi says, I love making kimchi at home because I go through it so quickly and I can just anything I want into it. One time I added persimmon apple. It was so delicious and I added cucumber. Oh. Mm. Uh, Anakiza says, I'm in Temecula and there's a Korean market near here and they have different kinds of kimchi. So I like them all. But best one is homemade by my Kim Onni. Oh, Onni. Oh. I want to try your, onni, your Kim Onni's kimchi. We might be in your neck of the woods, so tell us what the Korean market is. Yeah, where? Maybe I, didn't, we'll... I didn't know there was a yeah. market out there. Did not know either. Laura says those spicy noodles had great flavor, but that one chip, hard pass. Yeah, we're not going to do chip. Oh, yeah. Laura was like, oh, but it's good. It's good. Like, there's a flavor to it. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> we ate that so fast, huh? I think we we're both hungry. Yeah, we were hungry. <laughs> now I'm curious, like if someone who's vegan or vegetarian that you would want to do this with like fried tofu. I think it would work. It would work for sure. You'd only you'd have to substitute the oyster sauce and the Fish sauce, though, right? I've seen vegan version of oyster sauce mm. and vegan version of fish sauce too, even. That feels good. I feel warm. <sighs> I feel like this is one of those recipes, like now that I've made it, I think I can memorize it. Because it's literally steak, and then you kind of just season based off of like your own. You yeah, know. we didn't measure out the ingredients perfectly like we just eyeballed it yeah. Ooh, that looked like enough sugar that looked like enough soy sauce quite coated jay says i want some bottle block well there's a plenty of spots in socal yes do you have a spot you go to for that that's a good question is there in in because we live so close to little saigon which is the biggest vietnamese community outside of vietnam is probably where we live. Gosh, if I was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, it's between here, San Jose, and Texas. Those are the three hubs. I think but the maybe Houston, here, Texas, or whatever is like, there's a Google? lot, but probably not as big as either San Jose or here. Can I look? I'm very curious now. It's probably we looked that up with John before. Okay, oh, really? So, but it's confusing because you can't just do Westminster. You have to do Orange County. I'm going to say largest Vietnamese population in the U.S. But it, that, it, this is a confusing thing because San Jose in itself is a big city. Oh. But in Orange County, there's a lot that live in Westminster, Garden Grove, and, you know, like. Cool. Yeah, so you, you can't do it by population by city. You have to do it by community. Largest Vietnamese population by county? No, by community or county, yeah. And because in Orange County, we don't have... The same thing came up. We don't have a large like city. So the little Saigon here in Orange County, the Vietnamese population, they live in, in a spread of multiple cities in that area. But San Jose is like a big city. So of course there's more population in that one city. Oh, I see. So like... Garden Grove and Santa Ana would count as one, right? In Anaheim? Yeah. And so once you add those three numbers, this is too much work to figure it's out. It's a lot of work. It's, it's confusing because you can't just easily look it up. But um, yeah, it's, it's either San Jose or Orange County where there's the largest Vietnamese like community. Hmm. So that was a huge digression to my initial question was, what restaurant here in Little Saigon is known for their uh, bop bop block? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I tried really hard to remember really? how to pronounce it. I don't know. Ba, yeah. Lop, uh -huh. block. Yeah. yeah, but when you say it together, it sounds like <laughs> one. It sounds like one long syllable. Well, I don't. I, I I can't. I don't know the tones. Yeah, you know, I'm not used to tones. So blah blah blah. 
Why does it sound like a, the bee's turning into a pea every time you say it? Oh, I don't it's know. fine. Um, as Jay says, if I lived in California, I would be very big. It's so diverse and so many culturally cultural food options. We yeah. are lucky that in California, we have access to so many diverse cuisine here. Ethiopian, Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese, mm -hmm. Mexican, Colombian, Peruvian, Ecuadorian food, either El Salvadorian food with pupusas. Mm -hmm. mm. We never done pupusas on our live. Okay. Would we know how to, where, I guess we could look it Make up. Make the dough, put the filling and fry that up. Yeah. yeah. Jennifer is saying Temple City, Monterey Park, San Gabriel. And those would all be, yeah. I would imagine, communities. Cindy, no worries. You can always catch the replay. Uh, Kevin, welcome to the live stream. I think we're just going to chill for another like eight minutes and then we're going to wrap up by eight o'clock. So wrap, keep those wrap. video, uh, keep those likes coming yo, in. Yo, yo. And then just a reminder, we're telling everyone now, uh, we're probably not going to go live on Friday. So you heard it here and then we're going to post it on the community tab. So don't get mad at us if we're not there on Friday. We'll be out of town with our good friend Laura in the chat. John in mm -hmm. the chat. Also, yeah, so we'll be editing. Oh, oh, there'll be a new video coming out this Wednesday. It's going to be the part two to the rice cooker saga, which is actually eating something with I forgot cooker. that we still have that video. I love the feeling of when we have videos in, videos in queue because then that leaves less pressure of like, oh, shoot, we just need to wake up and film. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Are we filming this weekend? Have you we, have we decided? I'll bring my uh, I'll bring my GoPro and just keep it there. It's because we're going with some other friends, and sometimes my my own thing is I don't know how people are with being on camera, and sometimes I don't even like to ask. Not that I'll just film them, but sometimes I don't want to even like make so them feel uncomfortable to have to say. We'll yes or wait no. until we drink, and then everyone wants to, <laughs> everyone that wants to be on it. Then <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. If not, I'm pretty good about just keeping the camera isolated to myself. And just, anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be very mindful. My gosh, we love that throwback. Mark, I just made the Zion Volcano Rice recently. So good. Oh my gosh. And that was a fun video because we actually um, got paid to go to, to do that video mm -hmm. by Zion. Yeah. San Jose is the largest, but not fair because Garden Grove has 50K, but total population is 175K. San Jose has 100K, but total population of, uh, of 100K. I think what John is trying to say is like what he was, what, what you were, trying, what to say, you were yeah. trying to say. Yeah. Uh, mini delinquent. Hi, James and Mark. Guess I get to tune the last eight minutes live. Can't wait to see more of the rice cooker. Yeah. In today's stream, we featured it. Yeah. You'll get to see it there. Please go live while out and about. Sometimes it's hard to go live when we're out and about because we just don't know about um, signals. We might bring back the random Monday Night Live date nights. That we used to do like mm. we did applebee's applebee's we did cheesecake fact we only did it <laughs> i guess so but yeah. it felt like we did it more than those two times oh we went to um the shabu place but was that a monday date night or just uh, a random just a monday no that was, that was either monday. monday or friday I think that was a right? monday that was not friday because it wasn't crowded oh no it was monday yeah it was yeah. monday because we were hungover <laughs> that's, from, how, that's from, how you gauge things from isay probably on sunday you should do a blind taste test of the old rice cooker versus the new one and see what James likes better. That might be a more um, like fair <clears throat> way because even like the grain of rice that Mark used is different than the instant rice. So if you cook the rice in the same, in two different machines, but it's the same rice, then that's more of a true taste, true test. taste test, I guess. And here's the thing too. Uh, this machine is supposed to do really well with brown rice. So a lot of people... A lot of uh, people, the reason why they don't like brown rice, even though it has more fiber and it's better for you, is because it's so hard in texture. But this machine here is supposed to make your brown rice fluffy like you're eating white rice. Mm. But you still get the nutritional benefits of brown rice. So we haven't done that yeah, yet. Yeah, let's so maybe, try brown rice next time. So maybe in a future video, we'll do the brown rice. And then... In addition to that, this machine is able to make GABA rice, which is, I don't know if anyone knows what it is, but it's basically a germinated brown rice um, that you can make in this rice cooker. So why that is important is 
when you germinate brown rice, do you know what that is? It like it it creates a small like sprout mm. at the edge of the rice bran. That is supposed to be the most nutritious part of a rice, but we don't. No one eats that. Mm. So if you eat gabba rice, that's the best way, the most nutritious way to eat rice. This is this is something that Korean people say. <laughs> <laughs> no shade, but sometimes I, I hear I these actually like haven't heard of any other. But but it's unfair because I'm Korean, so I have more access to Korean information. It could be like, I don't know, Japanese, Chinese. Maybe yeah. it is a thing, but I've only heard it through a Korean meme. She's getting too much airtime, though. Let me tell you that. Oh, too you much airtime. No, no, not even, not like, Hedu has been around. He's not even called, like, I'm starting to feel like our channel is going to be called James and Mark and Hedu and the Rice Cooker. <laughs> Cuckoo. She just came here. She's like a last minute season fill in, but she's not a permanent cast member. Right? We'll see how long she lasts. She could break down she, any day now. She might go missing in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever made topoki on a live? We used topoki, yeah. I think we probably did. Like Korean street food. Yeah, yeah, for Something sure. Something like that, yeah. John says I'm down good content. Oh, cuz he's going to make it good. We'll see. You promise? You're, what are you going to do? Cartwheels? Are you going to juggle? Alicia says, going to have to rewatch it. Missed the beginning of the live. No worries. But let me say, I never laughed so much on the locale live. Hilarious. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. But I'm so glad that you laughed so much. That's good. Laughter is the best medicine. Okay, uh, Anakisa says, I'm off this Friday, so I was looking forward to your live. Oh, timing. Timing. It's like a K-drama. It, but it's k Anisa. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> that was good. That You have to give me a high five. That was a good joke. Yes. It's like K-drama, but k Anisa said that. <laughs> Don't repeat it. Um, Wine tour is your best bet. Of, of like I um, love wine. I, I love wine. I, I I want to see um the wine tour. Which wine tours we're going? Because we oh yeah, yeah. To which ones? Do you know? We went to a lot in Temecula. We've been yeah. to a lot of different ones. We'll just we'll just face Casca? her after. Akash Ak was kind of the new one. That's, That's kind the, of cool. the the second way you said it. Akashka. Akashka. That was why. I don't remember the what one I where said. you won the um. Oh, cornhole. the cornhole. See, I like that one, but it also just reminds me of, like, Pali. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go all the way to Temecula for Pali either. Oh, it, was nice. we went to Pali. <sighs> it was more hip. and It was kind of really, really cool. And they, it was cold that day. And they had these um, really nice blanket that you oh, could just kind yeah. of put on when you're outside. And, oh, shit. I remember taking a picture of the brand because I wanted to buy that same blanket. Oh, yeah. yeah it was probably nice. a couple hundo, probably. Yeah. Uh, we have Yanni, did I say that correctly, from uh, Indonesia. Welcome. Oh, what is purple rice? A scam. <laughs> it's good. Scam. Purple rice is good, too. It makes really good purple rice. It, it, it's supposed to do a lot of good things, but we've only done white rice, which yeah. is, you know, pretty standard. Guys, what's up? Hey, Dan. Uh, James, I randomly thought about you while at work Saturday. I hope you weren't too hungover. I actually was not. Scale of one to ten, I was probably a one or two. I think his release helped. Every oh, for time sure. When he releases before yeah. going to bed, he is f really fine the next day. Yeah. Oh, do you like soy? Soy is like uh, the Vietnamese sticky rice. You've had it a few times. Is it in the um, Lee thing? Like in them? There's. It's not mainly in that. Sometimes it's just in like a bowl, and then sometimes there's like sausage on it, and then there's other ones that are sweet. It's oh. like, and it's usually colorful rice. It's like oh, really okay. bright yellow or like green, lime maybe? green. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So you know what? I, guess I never really understood, and maybe this is reserved for the uh, next time, so you could remember. Now is, Anakisa um, time. Can't <laughs> speak. Is uh, the concept of the Vietnamese broken rice? I don't get that. I, I don't get like, that. Like, is there? It's good. A reason, a purpose, a benefit. Like, what's the yeah sure. idea yeah, behind know. the broken rice? Interesting. What's so broken about it? 
It's actually broken, right? It's not. It's a grain of rice. Because I think Vietnamese tend to use the long grain rice yeah, right, yeah. typically, and then I think you have to like grind it to mm-hmm. make it broken. But then, like, I want to know like where that came from. Yeah. Like why? I think Wikipedia after. Well, so we'll Wikipedia it after. What about black rice? I don't think I've ever made black rice before. And I don't think really? black and purple rice is the same thing. They're different. If this if it's the same, we have we had it. But if it's different, then I don't think we have bl- black rice. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're gonna do dessert unless we miraculously land on 150 and we land on it. Which you guys only have about another minute before I get to all these comments. Myoni puts black beans and mushrooms in her brown rice, and it's good. But I won't try to make it anymore. Yeah, chakopa, yeah. which is a lot of grains in your rice, is also a very yeah. common way to eat rice. It's healthy, too. Island Candies is requesting army stew. Mm. I think, yeah, we've had, we have at least four videos of army but stew, but I it's wanna, been a while. But I want to do one soon, but a different version from what we normally do. But don't tell people what it is yet. But we will hook them later. Hook them later. We'll do it differently. It's similar, but it kind of looks different. Yes, we did say cornhole. John says broken rice is better than pho. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that's controversial. But here's the thing. Sometimes I like a broken rice dish in a Vietnamese restaurant, but James never gets a gom dish. Yeah, I don't like gom. Never. I like, I I like it, it when there's like the egg roll and the pork chop and the shrimp, the, 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 the shrimp, you know, char, oh, charcoal yeah, 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 shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's not like to like about it? I think broken rice is the leftovers and sold cheaper. I think it tastes better, in my opinion. That's Ms. Jen. Mm, mm. Loanne, I would love to see you make Bangkok. I saw a video of you eating it at your mom's house. See, the only reason I would love to make it and learn how to make it, but we don't have the pan. And I just feel like I don't want to buy the pan and then only use it once and then never again. So unless I have this like inner desire to make that dish multiple times. If you don't know what that dish is, they're little like pancakes this size. Oh. And it has a little shrimp, and it's it's almost like similar to batter to the well. We could, we could make a little bit larger version using our egg pan. Yeah, but it's. It, I feel like that. No, I wouldn't feel right. <laughs> Why? It's not the same shape. The egg pan is like way too wide and long and big for one bun cock piece. Wide and big. Like it's wide and shallow. But oh. the way the bun cock one is, it's like it's almost like half a, a half a circle almost. Ah, I see. So it's it just the shape would be different, I and see. then. At that point, you might as well just make bun sale, right? Mm. Broken rice is now twenty dollars in San Jose. Isn't that crazy? Is that why you moved to Portland? Korean dogs, cor- Korean corn dogs live. Oh. <laughs> Or we could just dress Haidu up as a corn. No, he won't like that. To be a corn dog. Barb did some research. Broken rice was used solely because it was readily available in the farmer's houses and could fill their stomachs for a long time. See, uh, Kevin, we were gonna, I wanted to make ban can the other day, but then it was way too many steps and it would be too long for a live. So that might have to be an edited video. But when you check out our future vlog, one of us ate pancan yesterday, so you'll see that in a video soon. Everyone says, how do you, do you look? How do you? How do you? And we're at 150 likes, so. Oh, so we have to spin we the spin wheel? We spin the wheel, but if it lands on something that, like, we'll do, like, for instance, if it's uh, the word game, then we'll do it, it for the next time. time. But right. if it's dessert, then we have to do dessert, right? Is that what we're agreeing on, or we end? Okay. okay. All right, let's spin the wheel, see what happens. I don't even know what's what's left. Look, he's, look at him. He's, he's sitting like a human right now. He is human. His arms on the table and one arm's on my hand. All right, ready? All right, let's spin the wheel. Oh my God, poetic justice. If it's nothing happens to end it off. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So all of our precious channel members, if you're still here, you're going to be eligible to win a giveaway. We're doing a $10 giveaway only for channel members. If you're like wondering if you're a channel member, you should have that little badge next to your name. And if you're interested, now's the time to sign up because if you sign up and you win, you're going to make your money back (laughs) because it's only $5 a month to sign up to our channel members and you get access to 
things like these giveaways. We have exclusive content uh, only posted on our community tab. Uh, we actually did a giveaway for our channel members off of you, like off of the live earlier this morning. We oh, sent coffee yeah. to Ray because he won that. Oh, congratulations, Ray, for the coffee giveaway. Oh yeah. Oh, look at Hedu though. He's I know he's what is it? leading. <laughs> he's leading so far back right now. I'm trying to put he, my shoulder. So up. in addition to sitting like a human, he looks like a human. Just the way he's he's like, I just want to get down, and you're not letting me. He's mad. Look, he's not kissing me. He's okay. He's mad because he didn't get a piece <gasps> of bomb lob block. Bomb lob block. You're changing it again. Boom. Uh uh. Ba 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 lo block. Yeah, that's the best you've done. All right. So here goes. Guess the number. Only channel members one through one thousand. Closest person will win a ten dollar Amazon gift card. Only to channel members. We're gonna give you guys two minutes. Oh my gosh, Heidi! Well, Heidi just sits here. Heidi can... is totally like laying more and more back. Hi, Heidi. What's going on over here, huh? What is going on? I don't like this. Daddy, what you, and his arm is laying on the table. And it... Hey, Hedu. 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 All right, we see some guesses coming in. Island's like, he's chilling. He, act, it, he looks like someone who just ate a gummy or something. <laughs> <laughs> he looks high. No, he's just relaxed. He's so relaxed right now. Look at him. Look, I'm just hurting him and he's closing his eyes. <laughs> he's so chill right now. Hadu is 12, 12 years old. Yeah. He, yes. he turned 12 last October. Yeah. So he's getting, he's getting old. One more minute to go. Again, this is for our channel members. He looks like he's falling asleep. I think he is. <laughs> How do you wake up? It's because he's camera shy. Why is he sleepy? I know. He's tired. How do you tired? Oh. <gasps> Hi, baby. You old man. He is old. All right, 10 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, two. All right, time. Oh, Carrie J, put your put your answer in right now. Put your answer in. She just signed on right now, but put your answer in right now. One through a thousand. This is for channel members. Look, everyone says for Carrie J to guess too. Henny needs his blanket. It's it's actually uh. Oh, it's, it's in the dryer. It's in the dryer. It's gonna be nice and toasty for him when he get, when he gets out. We haven't washed it since the first time, so we're like, "Oh, we need to wash it." So it's in the it's in the dryer right now. All right, she has her guests in eight seventy six. All right, we're gonna share the number generator screen. I think I'm kind of getting used to this now. All right, ready? All right, let's generate the number two eight seven. Two eight seven is the number. Well, it's not Carrie Jade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No. Oh no, that's not a channel member. Mm, well, Julie's in the two, oh, but Julie. is there someone in the three? Maybe. Maybe. Two eight seven is closer to two o two than, yeah, than three seventy nine. Three seventy is way over. No. Well, we'll let the mods figure it out. Julie, and then Julie says, it's me. Oh, yes, it's Julie. <laughs> Yay, Yay, congratulations on winning the channel members giveaway. Julie, I think we have your contact, but if not, we will uh, message you. We know how to find you. You know where we live. We know where you live. It's, it's all gravy. 
Anyhow, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us for another Monday Night Live. If you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. More videos coming your way. It's a new year. Me and Mark have some things up our sleeves in terms of content. So we're excited oh. to share that with you all. Um, check out one of our other videos, especially Friday's video, because apparently it was the best one we've done um, in recent memory, I the guess. The most entertaining one. Only to some people. Not for me. Not for me. I can't, me, I can't me. watch it. It's cringy. Watch that should be a punishment. Watch, watch it. Watch, I can watch okay, it. Okay, put it on the wheel next Monday. The peanut segment. Anyways, <laughs> we love you all. Again, we're not going to be here on Friday. If we are, then that's why you should subscribe. Click on bell notifications because if we're spontaneous enough, we might show up. But we love you all. Have a great rest of your week. And see you next time. Bye. I'm surprised I clicked on the outro button last week. Or was that you? I did. Go ahead, you sleepy. Bye. Bye.